today I am so excited, A, that we're here because we have the day off to celebrate an amazing leader who strived, is that a word? Who worked very hard to bring peace to all people. And that's why we're here celebrating today. But we are here to practice yoga together. And I have this special guest who is off from school today. And my niece is Scarlett. And she's finding her arms and her legs. So we'll start our session today with a breath break. And this is something that we've been working on with my niece Scarlett and my nephew Zach to help us kind of come back into a place where we're not all like super energy sometimes or to calm down right before we do homework or before we go to bed because sometimes we can get distracted and sometimes we can be trying to pay attention to our school work or to school or getting ready for bed and sometimes our brain wants us to think of a whole bunch of different things all at the same time right you know how that works yeah so we have come up with a breath break and you can take this breath break at any time it's super super easy all right are you ready Okay, you want to show me how you put your hand? I'm not going to show me, so I'm going to show you. Take one hand, put it on your tummy. Take one hand, put it on your chest. It doesn't have to be at your heart. It can be anywhere on your chest. So, so you can feel your breath move. And you can keep your eyes open or you can close them. We have found that sometimes it helps us to calm down better when our eyes are closed. So Scarlett and I will close our eyes. You can do whatever you close our eyes and we start by taking in big big breaths not fast but slow just take a nice big breath almost like you're breathing in through a straw and then blow back out through that straw and when you're taking that big breath feel your tummy press into your hands and then feel your breath rise all the way up to your other hand Let's take a nice slow breath in. And a long breath out. Let's do a few more of those all on your own. Just breathe in. all the way out, tuck your head down, and then if your eyes are closed, just start to blink them open slowly. And then when you take your next breath, bring your chin back up, and you can let your hands go. Now kids, you can teach this to your grown-ups, because grown-ups can do this too. That's just a kid breath. Definitely a great breath for grown-ups and kids to do together, or for kids to say, hey, my grown-up person, you could probably do this with me. Would you like to do this with me? Yes? Okay, this is how we do it. Right? She's a pro. All right, my lovies. Let's start moving. Because I know you have this day off, and you probably have some extra energy, huh? Yeah, okay. I'm I know you do been derailing trains all morning. Okay, so we'll start by twisting our body. 
Are you good with that? So bring your legs in crisscross applesauce. Oh, there goes my leg. Yeah. You're gonna push your booty down into your mat. So it's nice and squishy into your mat, right? Take your arms and we'll take a big breath in. I'm gonna scooch just a little bit farther forward so I don't bump you. Okay, I like this. I'm gonna switch to later. Great. Now let's take a big breath in and as we breathe in, we'll bring our arms all the way up. Mm -hmm. And you feel those ribs that you have here on your side? You're gonna make lots of space. Imagine that there's a balloon, that you're blowing up a balloon in between each of those ribs. Bring your arms all the way up. Your fingers reach for the sky. And then let your shoulders here, let them just melt back down your back. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Now we'll twist and we'll go to that side. So we'll twist to that side. You ready? Bring your arms up and let's twist to that side. So bring this arm to the knee in the front and take this arm right behind on the mat. Press your fingertips into the ground. Lift your head up to the sky, but keep your chin nice and flat to your body. And we'll take three big breaths. Let's do it together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more on this side. Big, big breath in. And a big, big breath out. And the next time we take a breath, we'll bring our arms with us back to the middle, right? Big breath in. Bring your arms all the way up. Stop in the middle. Bring your hands together. Okay, are we all there in the middle? Yep, great, let's go to the other side. So let go of the hands. Take a big breath in. Now we'll twist that way, ready? Big breath in, and we'll twist this way. So we bring this hand now to the opposite knee and take this hand behind. Ready, Scar? Okay, press your fingers in the ground, lift up nice and tall, and twist. And you can look straight forward from where you're twisted, or you can look back at the screen, that's fine. You can even look over your other shoulder and back. Three more big breaths, just like we just did. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Big breath all the way in. Big breath all the way out. Amaze balls. Let's take a nice big breath in. Bring the arms all the way back up to the top. Now bring your hands together, and now bring your hands all the way down. That's heart center. So when we say, we talk about bringing hands down to heart center, that's right here. So your elbows are up to the side, and your hands are together right here. Okay, can we start moving? Yes, I think so too. All right, let's do what's called cat-cow. Yes, so we, to do that, we come onto our hands and our knees, all the way down, hands and knees still. Now, we pretend that we're a cat and a cow. How do we do that? If you had a tail. Yeah, this cat. Where would your tail be? Your tail would be back here, right? Yeah. Okay, so now for our cow, we take a nice big breath in. We lift our tail up to the sky and we lift our head we can take a big breath and look around. Big breath, look around. Mm -hmm. And now for cat, we tuck our tail. We look down to our knees and we arch our back. We take a nice big arch like a cat does when it's stretching. Now let's come back to cow. Drop your belly, lift your tail, open your heart. And maybe you do these a little faster or a little slower than us. Just take your time. Let's come back and do cat. Let's do two more cats and cows. So let's bring it all the way back through. Lift your tail, lift your head. Cow, tuck your tail, tuck your head. Cat, one more. Lift all the way up with your tail, lift all the way up with your head. Stretch. Like downward dog. Downward dog. And the first 
second leg is this upward dog. So we're gonna take those dog stretches. So set your feet back. Step back with your feet. I'm gonna set my hands a little forward because I'm taller than Scarlett. I'm gonna set my other leg back. This is Scar. So let's drop down. You don't have to bring your knees all the way to the ground, but let them come that way and then lift up. Take a nice big puppy stretch or cat stretch. Mm -hmm. And then we stretch the other way. Send your booty up to the sky. Take that nice big stretch. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to stretch the body when you wake up, right? This is what the cats and the dogs do. Yeah. Let's go back down one more time and we'll do that upward dog. So come back forward and lift up. Oh, just like that. Big stretch, let your shoulders reach back. Mm -hmm. Let's come back up one more time. Put the hips to the sky. All the way back. Now, let's do something fun. Let's walk our hands all the way back to our feet. You think you can do that? Mm -hmm. Do you guys do that? I do you guys do that. Let's walk our hands. Exactly. So that when your hands get to your feet, you're folded in half. Mm -hmm. You're folded in half and you can have straight legs or bent legs, whatever feels good. But hang out right here. My glasses are getting all in the way, so that's okay. And let your arms dangle for a minute. Maybe you pretend you're an elephant. Let your trunk sway from side to side. And then bring it to the middle. And bring your hands halfway up your legs so that they stop just beneath your knees. Mm -hmm. And let your back be flat. So look straight down. Look straight down at the mat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that feels really good with a nice flat back. So if I'm going to bring you a cup of juice and put it on your back, flatten your backbone. Flat. And your shoulders back. I'm going to show you on Scarlet. Turn sideways. You can be my demo. Your shoulders up for me. Is that okay? Yeah. Just like that? Beautiful. All right. Now from there, go ahead and bend all the way forward again. And this time, bend your knees nice and deep. Even if you didn't have your knees bent before, bend your knees again all the way. Yep. One more breath. Press your feet into the ground. And then we'll stand back up and we'll bring our arms up like we're the sun rising in the morning. All the way back up. We'll bring our hands all the way to the top. Yep. Bring your hands together just like Scar is. And bring them all the way down to heart center. Booyah. All right. So now we're going to do that again, only without the cat and the cow and the down dog and the up dog. Ready? We're just going to do the arm movements and the fold. So let's take a big breath, bring your arms all the way up, bring up the sunshine. Now, here's even more fun. We're going to fold ourselves in half. Are you ready? You can face forward, I'll face sideways so everybody can see. Ready? Let's fold forward. Follow your hands. Let your eyes watch your hands as you fold in half. Mm -hmm. And then bring your hands all the way down. Mm -hmm. We're going to hang out here again. This time, remember last time we were an elephant? This time, grab your elbows. Mm -hmm. And we'll swing back and forth like a right bow. And let's just do this for two more breaths. And then after that last breath, let your arms go and they dangle again. And now we come halfway up, remember like I showed you on Scarlet? You bring your hands just below your knees, a nice flat back, and you look right down at the floor. Not at your toes, but ahead of your toes, right down underneath your eyes. Mm -hmm. Then let your hands come down, let your arms dangle, and bend your knees nice and deep, nice and deep, right? Okay. Just like that. Great. Press your feet into the ground. Take a big breath in, and as you breathe out, let's rise up with the sun again. Bring us all the way up. Just like that. Bring your hands together. Bring them down the heart. Holy cats. Okay. So now that we've done that, we've stretched our back forward, backward, up, and down. Now we need to stretch this some more. We gave this a little bit of love when we twisted. But now, we're going to give it a little bit more love. Okay, so we've got the bringing the arms up pretty good, right? Bring the arms all the way up. So awesome. Now bring your hands together. Leave your first finger, your index finger, your pointer finger, and your thumb together. Bring the rest of your fingers and fold them in. Can you show the kids how to fold their hands? Like this on the side? Yeah, just like that. Now bring them back up over your head. And now we're going to take a stretch and we're going to reach over to that side. We're going to stretch to Scar's side, to that side. 
Well, reach up nice and tall with your fingers. Let your shoulders melt down your back. I'm melting. Ready? <laughs> and now I'm going to take a big breath in and then go to that side. Yep. Oh my gosh. Now, what do you feel on this side of your body? Do you feel a stretch? Yeah. Let's stretch there for two more stretches. Big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out with our next big breath. We'll come all the way back up to the middle. Bring your arms all the way together. Hands are still together. Now which side do you think we're going to go to? To my side? Okay, let's stretch to this side. Ready? Big breath in. Big breath out and let's stretch to this side. Now what do you feel on this side? The same thing. Same thing, only different. Yeah. And it might feel different than this side did because it's a different side. Let's take two more breaths. One more breath. Holy kittens, let's take a big breath in, bring our fingers all the way up to the top. Now let's let this hand, the hand on Scarlet's side, come all the way down. Leave the hand on Auntie T's side, straight up in the air. Okay, we're gonna go to that side again. We're gonna twist to that side, but this time this hand is gonna slide down our leg. So let's lift up for the sky. Let's pretend that there is a piece of candy that you want that's just above where you can reach with your fingers. So keep reaching, feet flat on the ground though. Feet flat on the ground, yep, just like that. Now, let this hand slide down your leg and we're gonna come over. I'm gonna see if I can touch Scarlett's head. As she bends over, and you bend to the other side too. I got your hand. Can I get to your, I get to your head? Bring your hand over. Mm -hmm. Bring your hand over to your head. Yep, just like me. Stretch over, reach for the plants. Yes, let's take one more breath, friends. Big breath in. Big breath out. Ah, breathe in, come back to the middle. Holy cats, and now bring this hand up. Yep. Now, what do you suppose we're going to do on the other side? Yes, let's do it. That hand all the way down. What are we going to do with this hand? Same thing. Same thing. All right, since they can see your hand and they can't see my hand, can you show us what to do? Lift up for the sky, but let your shoulder relax. Feet on the ground. And now let's take a big breath in and let's go to this side. Now, you reach over and see if you can touch my head. You can't touch my head. I'm too tall. But let's stretch. Let your arm come down your leg. Yep, two more big breaths in. One more big breath. Good, let's take a nice big breath in and we'll bring this hand back up. And let's bring this hand with it. We bring all of our hands, all of our hands, we bring both of our hands together. And then where do we go with them? Down to heart center. Heart center. we did it so we're going to help you do it okay but the first thing to know about taking a pose where you're standing only on one leg is that you have to let your body get used to balancing on one leg right so the first thing we do instead of standing right on one leg is we balance take your feet put your feet down put your feet down let's tell them how to start and your feet are right underneath your hips so you feel your side and your feet are right underneath that. And now we'll sort of rock back and forth for a minute. Let your body get used to all of the weight going into one leg and one going into the other. Let your fingers come down. Reach for the ground with your fingers. Your hands are wide open. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay, and now we slow down, kind of like on a clock. I don't know if you guys have seen a grandfather clock, but on a grandfather clock, you slow down. going to stand on this leg first, okay? Take this leg, we're going to take this foot and we're just going to slide it over here next to this foot and come up on our toes. That's it. We're just going to stop right there. Cool being so far? Press this foot on the standing leg all the way into the ground. And now, maybe you bring your foot to the side of your leg. Take two breaths. Now, if this is feeling really super fun, you can bring your hands to heart 
or you can come all the way up and make a tree. Or if you're doing this with a friend or a grown up, you can come down and do a buddy tree. Yes. Let's take two more breaths wherever you are. One more breath. Good. Now bring your leg down first. If you're doing it with a friend, let go of hands. And then bring the other hand down. Oh, sweet. Now guess what? We have another leg. Two legs. We have two legs. So we should always do the same thing on both sides so that one side balances the other side. Okay? So let's do this side now. So let's come back and forth for a minute. Get the body used to that back and forth. Are you ready? Can we come back and forth? Yeah. Awesome. Scar's going back and forth with me. And then we slow down and we reach our fingers for the ground. Kind of like the roots of that tree. You know how a tree has roots at the bottom? Yeah, and we let it branch down. Okay, now we're going to stand everything into this leg. Okay, and we stand still. And we bring this foot over next to this one. Ta-da! Now, what do you suppose we do with this foot? What do you do? And what is this? Can you describe it? You put your leg under your knee. Yeah, you bring your foot there. And if it says this feels really good, great. If it says, you know what, that feels kind of goofy, I want to be on the floor, you let it. And you open the knee. And let's take two breaths. Maybe we bring our hands here. Maybe we bring our hands here. Maybe we make a buddy tree. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now bring your leg down. If you have a buddy tree, let go. And bring your other arm down. Woot! Okay. So now that we've done that, let's take one more fold. Because sometimes when we do that, right here in our hips and our low back, it gets all kinds of squishy because we've been leaning into one side or the other a little bit too much. So before we take our forward fold, let's just sort of like dance it out. Dance it out, dance out your hips. Got it? Dance it out. Okay, now let's fold. Ready? All right, are you guys ready? Are you? Okay, let's bring our arms all the way up. And just like we did before, we'll fold. So let's fold and watch your hands. Watch your fingers come all the way down. And reach nice and long if you're trying to hand something to Scarlett and me. All the way down. Oh my goodness. Where do you feel this stretch, Scarlett? In my back. You feel it in your back? Sometimes you feel it in your back. Sometimes you feel it in your legs. I also Sometimes feel you feel it in your back and your legs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now how do we come halfway up? We bring our hands where? Do we bring them to our knees or below our knees? Below our knees. Below our knees. And do we look up? No. Do we look at our belly button? No. Where do we look? The ground. The ground. Right before our toes. Right before our toes. You're so awesome. I love this. Now what do we do? We let our hands. We let our hands go. What do we do with our knees? Bend them a little. Bend them a little or bend them a lot? A lot. Bend them a lot. Okay. Now what's next? What do we do? Do we hang out here forever and ever? <laughs> no. How do we get out of this? We bring up the sunshine. Oh, hands come together at the top, and then where do they go? Heart. Heart, Heart center. center. Okay. Now, we're going to come down and do a little bit of jumping. You go with that? So grown-ups, if you're practicing with us, you might know this as a yogi squat, as malasana, or garland. Kiddos, this is cricket. So how do we get into cricket? What do we do with our toes? Do we leave them in like this? No. Do we leave them forward? We go. We take them out. Do your heels have to be together like that? Or do your, can your heels be farther apart? Farther apart. Yeah. Where should we put our hands? Down. You want to take them down? Yeah. I'm going to put mine here. Because they help me balance because I'm taller than you. Okay. So grown-ups, bring your hands together. If you want to. If you want to. Press your feet into the ground. And then what do we do? We take a big breath in and... Slide. We slowly sink down. Holy cats! 
stop where your body tells you to stop. So if your body wants you to stop higher, you can stop higher. Now what should we do with our hands if we're going to come and start hopping like a cricket or a frog? To the ground? Anywhere. Anywhere. Alright, I'm going to scoot back because my hops are going to be bigger than your hops and I will be in the screen if I hop more than two times. Alright, so are you guys ready? We're going to hop. So our feet and our hands are on the ground. We'll take a nice big breath in and then we'll take a hop forward. Are you ready? We'll hop all the way up though. We'll stand all the way up when we hop. Ready? Set, go. hop, all the way up and down. One more hop, yeah. all the way up and down. Now, Scarlett and I are so close to you that if we hop anymore, we'll probably be in your room with you. So yeah. I think we're gonna hop backwards. Are you ready to hop backwards? Yeah. You got this? Yeah. Look behind you, friends, before you hop backwards though, and make sure that you're safe. Make sure you're not gonna hop into anything because sometimes when we hop forwards, we move a little bit. All right, are we safe to move backwards? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's take another big breath in. Holy kittens, and let's hop all the way back and down. Do we have room to hop one more time? Yep. All right, ready, set, hop. Everybody at home, hop and down. Do you have more hops in you? I have one more. All right, I don't have any more hops behind me. Scarlett does. Awesome. All right, now let's bring your booty all the way to the ground. Let's sit down. Let your legs go long in front of you. Shake them out. Your legs have been doing so much work. They've been stretching and bending and dancing and hopping and balancing. Now, push your heels toward your screen. Bring your toes, push your toes towards your body. Holy cast, now sit up nice and tall. Yes. Did you see how much taller you just got when you did that? Friends, did you see that? You can do that too because sometimes when we sit, we sit all kinds of relaxo and we sit like this. And while sometimes that feels really good, it's not super good for our spine. So Scarlett, let's sit back to back for a minute. Let's go short me. And make your back all nice and tall and make my back all nice and tall. And this is a really good way to sit. It's really good for your shoulders. It's really good for your back. It's really good for your hips. Okay, so now we're going to release that and we're going to face the kids. Ready? Come back and face the kids. all the way up. Work really good. It's good we bring our arms all the way up. And you remember how we just folded while we were standing? Yeah? We're going to do the same thing. So pretend that your feet are on the ground. Now remember your feet, the bottoms of your feet are pressed towards the screen and your toes are pressed towards your body. So your arms are all the way up, just like you're standing on the ground. And we're going to fold. Lift up nice and tall in your seat and follow your hands as you fold forward. Now maybe your arms come to your legs or your toes, or your feet, or the ground, and that's okay, wherever they land, they land. Let's hold there, let's take three big breaths there, ready? Let's take a nice big breath in, and a big breath out, and a big breath in, and a big breath out. One more breath all the way in, and out. Holy kittens. Now drop your head so that your chin gets really close to your chest. Walk your hands back up towards your body and then unroll like you're a fruit roll up. You're unrolling a fruit roll up. You are the fruit roll up. And your head is the very end of that piece that unrolls back. How did that feel being a fruit roll up? Yeah? That was fun. Bring the soles of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, bring them together. Mm -hmm, like that. And sit up nice and tall. So maybe you take your hands and you hold on to your ankles or your knees or somewhere in between your ankles and your knees. Or you can do it on the ground. Or you can do it on the ground if you'd like. Now sit up nice and tall. Let the top part of your head reach up for the sky. Bring your chin so that it's parallel to the body so it means it's the same as the body or the same as the ground. It's nice and flat. Okay. Now we're going to fold. We got this folding thing down. Here at our waist, imagine that you're a door. Okay. So let's close the door. Close the door nice and straight. A door is a flat piece of wood that doesn't round yet. So when we get to where the body says, I'm done folding, stop folding there, then maybe when you're done folding, maybe you drop your head. And maybe your head reaches your feet, and maybe it doesn't. 
Maybe it feels really good just hanging out here in space. Let's take three big breaths just right here where we are. Big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out. One more big breath all the way in. And all the way out. And remember what we did last time when we brought our chin all the way to our chest? Let's do that again. And remember how we were a fruit roll up? We're going to unroll like a fruit roll up again. Ready? Walk the hands back towards your body, up your leg. And then unroll your spine just like a fruit roll up. Let your head be the very center of the roll up that unrolls last. Holy kittens, you guys. Now let's take our hands to the outsides of our knees and we'll close them up like a book. Now we're going to do something called boat. Do you love boat? All right. We're going to do boat. So leave your feet. I'm going to turn this way. So your feet are flat on the ground. And actually, why don't you face me? Bring your Bring your heart all the way to your knees. Mm -hmm. And you can hold on right here. You can hang out right here. This, this give me, I can't talk. This might feel really good right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you stay here. Warm your feet so they're about hip distance apart. And keep lifting your heart. Bring your heart to your knees. Can you bring your heart all the way to your knees? Bring your chin back. Bring your heart up. Yes. Now, maybe you let go with this hand. Maybe you bring this hand underneath. Maybe you let go with this hand and you bring this hand underneath. So far so good? So far so good? So far so good. All right, let's take this leg and we're gonna straighten it. And maybe it's a little bit straight and maybe it's a lot of it straight. Whatever feels good for you today. Ready? Can we also leave our knees bent? You can leave your knees bent. You know what, they can't see you, you're behind me. Um. We're gonna rock back and maybe you bring this one up. And now that you're rocked back, rock forward a little bit. And maybe you leave your knees bent just like this, and maybe you leave your hands under your knees. Let's take two breaths right here with our hands behind our knees. Look at your toes. Now maybe you let go. Holy kittens. Keep lifting your heart toward your knees. Oh my gosh, you guys, one more breath, big breath in. And big breath out. Oh, don't bring your feet to the ground and collapse over your knees. Oh my gosh. Charlie Brown. That was crazy, I tell you. Crazy. Okay, so let's come down onto our tummies now. You ready? Maybe. Maybe. Let's come down onto our tummies. All the way up. I have to scooch back a little bit farther, so if you can't see me, I have this perfect sized example next to me because she fits on a whole mat and in the screen. Okay, can you take your arms long in front of you like Superman? And take your legs long behind you. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So laying down with your arms stretched in front of you. And your legs stretched behind you. Now, take your arms and bring them down the side of your body so that your fingertips reach for your toes. Just like that. Fingertips reach for toes. Okay. Now, take a big breath in and just lift your feet. Just lift them off the ground. You don't have to bend your knees. Just lift your feet off the ground. Yep. Now lower your feet. Now take a big breath in and just lift up your shoulders. So when you breathe in, lift your shoulders off the ground and bring your chin off the ground and your shoulders. Yes. Now the trick is to lift your shoulders off the ground and your feet at the same time. You guys got this? Yes. Okay. Let's do that together. Ready? Arms reach long behind, take a big breath in, lift the feet, lift the shoulders, and now lift the hands and the front. <laughs> now can you bring your hands together behind your back and stretch? Oh my goodness. Now maybe you bend the knees and you reach for your ankles. 
and you lift your knees off the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes! And now, maybe you rock, and maybe you don't, and it's fine. <laughs> Let your knees come back to the ground. Let go of your feet if you're holding your feet. And slowly bring your feet to your, bring your arms in front of you like Superman again. Bring your head and let your head rest on the ground. And if you're wearing glasses like me, sometimes the glasses get in the way and that's okay. You can just let your chin rest on the ground. So two more breaths. Now we'll come into our tabletop position, which is just the way we did for cat cow. So on our hands and our knees. So let's walk our hands back toward the body and bend the knees. And then from here, we'll take child's pose. So Scarlett, why don't you take child's pose with your head facing me up here so they can see you and then I'll take child's pose behind you facing this way. With your head here? Your head will be facing me, bring your head this way. Yep. Okay. So to take child's pose, we're going to let go of all of this stretchy that we're feeling in our back right now after those two poses. So bring your booty back to your feet, all the way to your feet, and you can let your arms go long, and then walk your torso, you can walk your heart down to the ground. You can let your head rest on the mat, or on your hands, reach your arms in front of you if your head's not resting on your hands. And we'll take three long breaths here. Scar, where are you feeling the stretch in this? The back. Mm -hmm. This helps feel the stretch in the low back. One more big breath. Now from here, we're going to come back down to the tummy. So come back onto your mat. Friends, you don't have to move. Scarlet Mary's going to so that you can see what we're doing. Come all the way back down to your tummy. And bring your elbows. I'm going to scooch back. Scar, scooch back just a little bit so they can see. Yes. Bring your elbows so they're just underneath your shoulder. Make your hands flat on the ground. Lots of space between your fingers, right? Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Your legs are long behind you. So if you look back behind you, make sure you see your feet just behind you. And all the way out to the sides, okay. Now press your hands into the ground like it's squishy mud. And we're just going to let the shoulders roll back. Let the shoulders behind you, the shoulder blades come together almost like they're hanging out. We're just going to lift here. This is called Sphinx Pose. Now, what to do with your eyes? Where should you look? Should you look straight down in this pose? Nope. Should you look straight up in this pose? Nope. The best place to look for this pose is just ahead of um, your wrist. Mm -hmm. So, yes, somewhere between your pointer finger and your thumb. That's a really good place to look. So let's look right there. And we'll hold here for three breaths with our elbows still on the ground. We'll come up in a minute. Breaths. Nice and slow. You might feel stretching or smooshing here in your lower back. And if it stretches or smooshes too much, then you can let it go and lay all the way down. One more breath. But if your back says, I want a little more stretch and I want a little more smush, you can press your hands into the ground and you can lift up on your elbows. Mm -hmm. And lift up nice and tall so that your ears are away from your shoulders. Oh my word, let's take three more slow breaths here. Where does your gaze come? Just ahead of your pinky for your index fingers or pointers. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more big breath all the way in. And all the way out. Now let's lay back down, slowly release. Mm -hmm. Scar, come turn this way so we can show the kids how to lay. Because my legs are too long. Okay, so bring your hands underneath your head and make a pillow with your hands for your head. Rest your forehead on that pillow. Stack one, mm -hmm. and now your big toes. Is it okay if I touch your feet? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna turn our big toes in, just like that, so they're hanging out near each other. And we're gonna let the feet, the heels, just rest to the side. And that helps to let go of all that stretch that we had right here in the space. Scar, scoot your torso, your shoulders this way so that the kids can see you. 
Yes, just right there, perfect. Okay, now bring your feet back in. And we're gonna breathe here for three breaths. So three big breaths, big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in and out. One more breath all the way in and out. Now let's come back. We were just in child's pose before we did that sphinx pose, right? We're gonna go back into child's pose one more time. Ready? Okay, so we walk it back. And then let your booty sink towards your heels. And let your arms reach nice and long. Your head can rest on the ground. Your forehead can rest on the ground. Or again, if you have glasses like me and your glasses get squishy on the ground, you can rest your chin on the ground. Or you can even rest your head on your hands. Sometimes I rest my nose on the ground. Three breaths. Two more. One more. Now let's come back forward into that tabletop and then we'll sit back down and we'll come back into a seated position. I'll let the legs go long again. Okay. Take this knee. Mm -hmm. Keep this leg long. Make them, and we'll bring this knee all the way up. Just like that. Okay. Draw the knee in. We're going to take twisties. Okay. So leave this arm and hug your knee with it. Okay. Let your back be all the way straight and tall. Remember how we set up so tall? Oh my gosh. I love it. Take this hand and put it behind you. Remember how we twisted at the beginning? Now we're going to twist to scarlet side again. Ready? Lift up nice and tall. I'm going to twist that way. Can I get the snow? One more big breath. So big breath all the way in. Big breath all the way out. Now wait, we're not done with our leg here. Now we're gonna switch legs. See how this arm's hugging it? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take this arm, bring it around, so it's got the two arm hug. And now it's got this two arm hug, we're gonna let go with the first arm, bring that arm behind. Press that arm into the ground, lift up nice and tall. Ready? Big breath in. And twist, and now we look this way. I'm gonna take two more breaths on this side. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Holy kittens, now let's come back to the middle, give it a two arm hug. Say thank you legs, appreciate you playing. Now we'll let this leg go down to the ground. And before we bring this leg up, just notice what you feel here. If it feels the same on both sides, if it feels different on both sides, you don't have to know if it feels better or not better. Just notice if it feels the same or different, that's all. And now bring this knee up. This leg is long. Bring this knee up. Mm -hmm. Bring it all the way to the body. And we'll give it a hug with this arm. And we're gonna twist the same way that we just did, so we'll go this way first. Take this arm and bring it behind you. Press your other way. Switch arms. Yeah. Press the fingers on the ground. Lift up nice and tall. Let's twist this way. Take two big breaths. One more big breath. Oh my gosh. Let's come back together. Bring this arm around. Give it a two arm hug. Mm -hmm. That was a good hug. Let's take this arm and bring it behind. We'll lift up nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall. Yep, now we'll twist to this side, ready? There we go. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take two more breaths. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Holy kittens. Let's give it a two arm hug as we come back to the middle. Let the arms go, let the legs go. And now we'll take a rag doll fold. So you know, sometimes when you're making your bed. If you keep stuffed animals on your bed, or if you have stuffed animals that you have in your room, like me, like you, um, and you just sort of toss them. Do your stuffed animals sit up straight like this? No. No. How do your stuffed animals sit? Sometimes they flop down like that. Sometimes, sometimes they. 
Sometimes they flop down like that. And sometimes they flop down like this, right? Yeah. So let's pretend. But sometimes they go. Sometimes they do if you overflop them. <laughs> but we're going to pretend that they're not overflopped. Yeah. And so we're going to just collapse. We'll take a big breath up. And then just let your arms come down and collapse. And just flop. So we're just going to be a floppy stuffed animal right now. And we're going to take six breaths as a floppy stuffed animal. Okay, so let your arms rest inside your legs. And let's take six big breaths. Big breath in. And out. Five more, all the way in. Out. And you can stay flopped. Breath all the way in. And out. Three more. Let your head dangle. Two more. One more. And now your arms, they're inside your legs. Take them to the outsides of your legs. Now take your hands to your ankles, just above your feet, and walk your hands. We're going to unroll that foot roll up again, but we're going to walk our hands up our legs. It's all the way up the legs. Holy kittens, you guys. Now bring the feet back in so those bottoms of the feet touch just for a minute. We'll lift up nice and tall. One more butterfly, just for a minute. Mm -hmm. Now take your hands to the outsides of your knees. Pretend it's a book. Close the book. Now we're going to come onto our back. Okay. So I'm going to face this way. And you come in front of me and you face this way with your feet on your back. So just bring your feet to my mat. Yep. Now we'll come down onto our back and we'll bring our knees all the way into our chest. Meow. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a nice big hug, but let this part of your back stay on the ground. But then hug your knees with two hands all the way in. Nice big hug. And maybe you stay still because it feels super good. Or maybe you rock side to side because that feels super good. So you decide what feels super good for you. For me right now, this feels super good. Holy kittens, you guys. Whoa. Now bring your feet back down to the ground, but take them nice and wide. So super wide. Like wider than your hips, wider than your arms. Leave your feet, leave your knees up, but take your feet wide. So step your feet. Yes. And you can let your knees rest on each other for just a minute. Mm-hmm. Oh my word. Now let your arms reach long over your head and press that part in your low back all the way to the ground. In fact, just press it into the ground. Pretend you're trying to smoosh it. And now, if you have space in your space, take your arms out to the sides to a T. Make a T with your arms, yeah? Now you see how your feet are still super wide? Leave them there. Take a big breath in. Now drop all, I'll drop all your knees, you only have two knees. Drop your knees to the side facing the screen. So, Scarlett, drop your knees to the screen. Now they don't have to touch the floor. If they do, that's okay. But they might not, and that's okay. They're not supposed to. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe you turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees. A little twisty. Breathe nice and slow. We'll take four breaths here. Take a nice big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out. One more breath all the way in. Next time you breathe, bring your head back to the middle if you turned it. Bring your knees back to the middle. Take a big breath in, and we'll drop the knees to the other side, so away from the screen. Mm -hmm. Maybe your eyes stay closed, or maybe they stay open. 
Maybe you look up at the ceiling or maybe you look out your, over your fingers of the opposite hand of the way your knees are facing. Again, the knees don't have to hit the ground, it's okay. Let's take four breaths. I think we only took three on the other side, but we'll take four this time. Big breath in. And out. In. And out. One more breath all the way in. That was three, we got two more breaths. And all the way out, one more breath. And this is the last one. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's take a nice slow breath and bring the knees back to the middle. Bring your feet slowly back together. So bring your heels in and then your toes and then your heels and then your toes. Yep. Now hug your knees again back to your shoulders. And now send your feet straight up to the sky. Like you're standing on the ceiling. So your feet are flat, your heels are pressed up to the ceiling, and your toes are trying to reach down to your body. Your hands can be down at your side, or they can be off in the T still, whichever feels better. Let's take three breaths. Now slowly lower your legs down. Lay here with our eyes closed for a few minutes. I'm going to play my bowl for you guys while you rest. I'm just going to make some sound. It's going to sound like a metal nice. singing bowl. You stay down and rest and demonstrate for the kids. Okay? So maybe your arms rest slightly away from your body. your eyes closed gently, almost like you're sleeping. You rest and relax your head and your eyes and your mouth and your neck. You relax your shoulders. Relax your arms all the way down. and your legs and reach them long in opposite directions. So reach your arms long over your head and then stretch your arms in the opposite direction of your feet. Big, big stretch. Now roll onto your side. Roll onto whichever side feels good. Let your head rest on your arm. Let your head rest on your arm. 
and draw your knees up towards your tummy. Yeah. Take one big breath here. Big breath all the way in. And all the way out. Now take that top hand, press it into the ground in front of you. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, push the hand into the ground and very slowly begin to come back up to a seated position. Nice and slow. Let your head come up last, just like the inside of that fruit roll. Let's go. I'm just go back just a little bit. And now to end our class, we'll come back and take a breath break to end our class. And then we'll do our namaste. Right. So, would you like to leave this breath break or would you like me? Okay. So can you show me how to put his hands again? One goes. And the other goes. Can I have my eyes open if I want or do they have to be closed? They don't have to be closed. I like mine closed, so I'm going to close mine. But if you would like yours open, you can. Okay. So let's, how do we start? chin so it's touching right in the direction of your chest. If your eyes are closed, open them. If your eyes are open, let them refocus. Take a nice big breath in and bring your chin back up. Bring our hands together where? Heart center. Heart center. Take a nice big breath. And before we close, we'll practice some gratitude. And so today we are so grateful that even though it's cloudy and we maybe saw a little bit of snow, but the sun's in the sky. Yeah. And we give gratitude for where we are right now in our space together. And of everything else, we give so much gratitude because we woke up today, we were given a gift of another day. So put our hands together. The light and the love in me honors, respects, and bows the light in more than anything to the love in every single. 